I wanted to share a few really important announcements and insights from Microsoft Inspire. There are a few big ones from the event. And the first one that I wanted to talk about is actually one that I think a lot of people might underestimate the importance of. It is a bit technical in that there's a new API now available in public preview to enable you to bring data, um, specifically your LMS data or even custom system data that is like an LMS, into something called Microsoft Viva Learning. Two Lead is a remote first company based out of Canada. What makes a world class Microsoft 365 intranet and digital workplace? And what this means is for those that are using Microsoft Viva Learning, you can pull that data into the experience. So LMS365 is an example of a partner. They have a great set of LMS solution sets that sit on Microsoft 365. Their data, you know, their videos, their assets, those uh, course material uh, references can actually be brought directly within the courses that you can explore within Microsoft Viva Learning. Why this is beneficial is it means that you can now actually have other data that is not one of the pre-integrated solutions that Microsoft created with Microsoft Viva Learning and released in the marketplace, but you can actually have any arguably custom system or LMS system and pull its data into Viva Learning. This is a big milestone moment because it means literally any learning management solution set that you use, if it has an API, you can bring that data into an employee experience that's designed for learning all the way to the you know individual messaging and sharing of learning objects. So you can say, hey, I recommend this learning for you and message someone it to having a courses and assignments within, say, a tab and a, plan, a, a Microsoft team, or you can have the ability to organize these within that Viva Learning experience, an app that people would sometimes go to. Now this is important because for a lot of us who've been working with customers at scale deploying something like Viva Learning, there are lots of times where one of the pre-integrated solutions isn't exactly what a customer is using or the only tool a customer is using for learning solutions. And while it's nice to be able to have SharePoint be an intermediary where we can create SharePoint objects and share that, now we can actually do that directly with the API. Now this is only one of two APIs, there'll be another API later this year that's released, and that's for the learner records. So we can actually pull the learning records across into Microsoft Viva Learning, and then that would allow us to potentially show you things like, did you complete a course? Did the assignment, you know, you assign some learning to someone, did they complete the course? Those types of things within the Viva Learning experience. So expect further enrichment here over time, not just in the API sets, but into the, in the scenarios that you can drive with Viva Learning. And uh, this is definitely my favorite and uh, most exciting announcement, even though it's a bit of an API one, because uh, it is the number one thing that comes up when I'm working with customers uh, and our team is working with customers implementing Viva Learning. All right. Well, I hope that was helpful for you guys. Looking forward to hearing what your favorite thing from Microsoft Inspire is.